When I was a kid, I still am, but when I was a five-year-old kid, I had anger issues. Sometimes my eyes and my face used to turn red. I couldn't control it. So one day, my mom told me to try something. She told me to draw. And I clearly did not know what drawing was, so I asked her, what's drawing? She told me that drawing is all around you. Something that is visible, for example, a donut, or invisible, like a taste of a donut, is drawing. Something that I can imagine and put on paper is drawing. After listening to that, I got inspired and curious at the same time. So I started drawing. I don't remember what I was drawing at that time, but I do remember that it was related to zigzag lines. Soon I developed more interest in drawing and in no time I started to improve my drawing skills. I saw that drawing had a strong impact on my life and in this process I also got to know that I could control my anger issues. Studies have shown that expressing through art can help with depression, anxiety and other health related issues and doing so has been linked with improved memory, reasoning and resilience. Today I would like to share the research that I've been doing by observation, discussing the same bits of philosophers I know who also agree that drawing, painting and art promotes positive mental health and overall a quality of life. Number one, drawing is a form of meditation. What comes to your mind when you think of meditation? Quiet, calm and deep focus. In the same way, drawing, talking and multitasking or getting anxious, don't mix. Have you ever seen an artist draw and talk at the same time? When a person holds a pencil or a paintbrush, he tends to go on imagination for hours. And being in that mind of state, our mind lets us focus and concentrate. Sometimes we lose track of time. Has it happened to you? It has happened to me so many times. And doing art once a week can teach you the power of quiet mind and quiet time. Number two, drawing promotes creative thinking. I would like to show you a picture. I'll share the master artist's name later. What could this picture be? Three lines, three dots, three people racing, three subjects being graded. It could be anything. We may come with the most wonderful ideas, but you may already know that before words were ever invented, people used to communicate through drawing. And yes, before I forget, the master artist is my three year and old neighbor. If I told you this before, you wouldn't have ta taken this task seriously. Number three, drawing builds positivity and self esteem within. I've seen many of my friends delete their music clip or their video clip because they don't like it. But rarely do we ever pair that early piece of work on which we draw. We may turn it in, but we will never, ever tear that early piece of draw, because it's rare. In fact, when a toddler learns to draw, it doesn't matter how gibberish it is, but the thing is that parents will still put it up on their wall or fridge. This helps the child to feel good about themselves and hence do more and better of it. And finally, this is my final research point. I would like to say that everyone has drawn something or someone at one point. Scribbling on a paper because we were angry or uh, drawing hearts to express our love or drawing a teacher's face on the back of the workbook while we were just getting bored. Consciously and subconsciously, we have always communicated our feelings through drawing. Thank you.